what has to happen to you? How long is it going to take all of you to understand that if we all stood up together and said no, uh-uh, get back in your cage, you can't fool us any longer, we know what the law is, we know who you are, we know what you're trying to do, we know that you are in subversion, executing treason. We and all stood up together. And ladies and gentlemen, what would it take to make you understand that if we all did that in concert, it would really be over? And no one would be injured, not even with a tiny scratch. Because they're cowards. They wouldn't even think of attempting to overcome a whole people who stood together. But you see, I know that won't happen. I know human nature, and I have studied history well. Most people are cowards, have always been cowards, will always be cowards, and they will hide and whimper and wail and gnash their teeth and cry, waiting for those of us who are not cowards to do something on their behalf. And we will, as we have always done throughout the history of the world, we will, but let me ask you this. In light of that, why will we? Why have we? And what are you going to do to us when it's all over? Because that always happens too, you see? The vast herd of cowards become shamed and we become the symbol of their disgrace. And then they must get rid of us. I'll tell you why we do it, because we have a spiritual motivation that most of you cannot and will not ever understand. We do it out of love. We do it for our children and your children and all of the future generations of the world which we refer to as our posterity. And we really don't give a damn what happens to us. I know that someday I will stand before God and God will judge me. And all that I hope for in this entire world is that when it happens, He will not have to say anything bad or good, just smile. And if that happens, I will be enthralled throughout eternity. I will have such joy within my soul that you cannot even imagine. Just a little smile, that's all I want. I would like to be able to look down and see that my children are living free, without fear, with opportunity to create and make of their lives what they will. Ladies and gentlemen, all I want, or all I have ever wanted you to be is honest, committed, caring, loving, and understanding that there are those in this world who cannot love themselves, much less love you, and therefore will try to hurt you and me and our children and our world and those people we must oppose and fight. You cannot have peace, love, and understanding with those kinds of people because to do it would mean your destruction. You're listening to the Vanu Podcast, the podcast making you invulnerable to the coercion of the state and the servile society. Visit our website for free resources to aid you in your pursuit of self-liberation. Old Vanu publications, podcasts, guest articles, and much more. Go to vanupodcast.com. And now, your hosts, Shane and Jason.
Oh, all right. All right, and uh, welcome to uh, the Vanu Podcast, the podcast making you invulnerable to the coercion of the state and the servile society. I'm your host, Shane, coming to you from the free republic of Pasnia, uh, the self-liberator's paradise. Uh, more on that momentarily. Uh, of course, this is a live stream, uh, not on fascist tube like I uh, usually uh, like I usually do. But uh, yeah, it seems like YouTube is making their platform more and more difficult to use. Um, <laughs> uh, intentionally, maybe. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I might be shifting away from uh, from fascist tube. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I, I had an issue with it a couple days ago. So uh, here we are on uh, on fascist book. Uh, please feel free to leave any questions or comments you may have uh, in the live chat. Uh, and uh, alternatively, uh, later on in the show, uh, I'd be happy to chat uh, with anyone uh, who would like to call in. Uh, just shoot me a message on Skype, Shane.Radliff, and uh, I will make it happen. So today I figured I would start with a homestead update. Uh, some things have happened that I'd like to, that I'd like, uh, to tell you about, and uh, big plans uh, are in motion. Uh, there's also the matter of Pasnia, uh, which uh, I will address as well uh, for those who might be, uh, who might be confused. Uh, not to worry, but uh, if you'd like to get a head start, uh, check out the website pasnia.com. Uh, you can find it uh, there in uh, the show notes. Or in the description below, I guess, uh, rather. Uh, before I get into this episode, uh, please do check out our sponsor, Libertarian Attack Publications. Uh, the website is libertarianunderattack.com. Uh, we've got uh, all of uh, you know your self-liberation uh, book needs. Uh, again, libertarianunderattack.com. Please do go, uh, go check out uh, what we have to offer over there. Um, I think that about covers uh, any of the preliminary notes. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at... Uh, uh, looks like we've got a couple people, so uh, you know, welcome, welcome. Uh, hopefully my audio is uh, coming through okay. Everything's looking good in OBS. Uh, no drop frames. Uh, looks like uh, we're good to go. So uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, dive right into uh, the the homestead update. So um, the most pressing thing um, that I'll mention, I guess the most pressing thing I'm working on, uh, or I will be working on uh, over the next couple of weeks, um, are cages for uh, for rabbit and quail. Um, now I was going to work on that over the, over these, uh, you know, next, next, uh, next few days and I'm, I'm still planning on it. Um, and, uh, um, the quail cage will be first, uh, it, it, it can be much smaller, uh, than the rabbit cage. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'll be building a quail cage and a rabbit cage. Um, and, uh, I know, uh, I know a source for the quail. So as soon as I get that build, I can basically get, um, I can get, get, get some laying quail right now. So that'll be a, a, a very, very good improvement. Um, I guess, uh, I'll, I'll talk more about this. Uh, as we move forward, but uh, yeah, I've put a lot of uh, put a lot of money into uh, I put a lot of money into this so far, and uh, haven't gotten any production out of it yet. So it's a little disappointing. Um, but hopefully, you know, like with the quail, um, that's that can happen as as quick as I can get this uh, as as quick as I can get this cage built. Um, I can uh, I can get that and and start having uh, you know some sort of production, uh, which uh, will be a very good thing. Uh, it'll be a good thing. Um, <laughs> cause yeah, I'll, I'll talk about a couple of couple of, I guess a couple of negative things that have happened. Uh, here as we uh, as we go through uh, through this podcast. Uh, so yeah, the quail cage. I'm thinking probably like a two two foot by six foot. Um, I, I saw I saw a couple I guess rabbit cages on uh, on Craigslist, and um, the quail cages uh, can be I guess even more basic and smaller. So um, I'll probably just do uh, you know like a two by six or four by twelve um, hutch. Yeah, based off ones I've seen for sale. Um, at your if you've got a local farm farm store, um, that's it's going to look exactly like that. I just, uh, the, the ones I've seen have all been like $150 or more. And I'm pretty sure like I've got all the wood here at the homestead already. And I think the rest of the, the building materials will cost like 50 bucks or less. So, um, I think it'd be, it'd be quite silly, uh, to, to, uh, to buy it, buy it new. So, um, yeah, I will uh, be working on that uh, over the next few days. And then the rabbits, the rabbit cage, I'll, I'll, I'll make a, a separate plan for that. I'm uh, honestly not uh, not 100 sure there, but we'll we'll, we'll figure that out um, as we go. So that's uh, the the first two the first two big things um, that I am uh, yeah currently working on here at the homestead. Um, I'm also looking at uh, uh, Miriam, uh, my I guess my business partner for Elio Publications. Um, she was uh, here this past weekend. Um, I uh, um, am, ra am raising a, a, a lamb for her, so she wanted to come see the lamb and and, and check out the homestead. And uh, yeah, we're we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna be looking for another uh, uh, female goat and lamb. We uh, talk, talked quite a bit um, about uh, um, you know what we could do livestock wise. So um, we're lo we're looking for another uh, female goat and lamb. Um, the good news is um, as far as as far as progress on homesteading, because um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's 
um like the it's, it's hard right now being in this initial trans you know initial transition phase of of starting to produce my own food because i'm not there yet so I'm, I'm having to having to expend money on uh you know buying meat retail a couple of few pounds of it a day uh so that's a little expensive and then i have to i have to try to uh, find the investment capital to uh you know to put all these things together on the homestead so it's taking longer than i than, than i would like uh, yeah, certainly longer than, than I would like. But one of the positives is I do have a female goat. So I've got a male and a female goat right now. And uh, yeah, I guess it would have been Friday. Uh, Miriam and I both noticed it. But uh, the, the female, I call her Little One. Um, I guess that's her name now, Little One. And uh, um, Willie too. Um, yeah, they were kind of strutting around the uh, around the cage, uh, or I guess uh, around the internal, I guess the, the internal fence. Uh, <laughs> so like we, we both noticed it and I was like, huh. You know, I I think I think I might have some have uh, have a baby goat and raw and you know and raw dairy in like five months or so, um. So it it definitely looks like uh, looks like that's going down, and uh, same with the lamb. I've got uh, one female lamb lamb now, and uh, I think it's all going to kind of coalesce at this uh, at the same time, uh. Which which is a good thing. I mean, it'll still be five months. Uh, you know, they're still they're still uh, you know babies. Um, all of them are still you know young animals. So um, it'll still be five months, and I was looking up the the process of uh of uh you know birthing a, a goat a baby goat and uh, i guess i think i guess the baby goats are called kids i think if i recall correctly um but yeah, i guess the, to, to to birth a kid is actually kind of a, a difficult thing like it's 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 a, it's work uh it's definitely uh definitely work but um obviously it, it it's it, it would be good to, to to get to a point where i don't actually have to buy livestock i can just raise my own each year um that would obviously be the most ideal situation but i'm not there yet uh not there yet but uh step one is complete or I guess I, uh, we're, we're think, I, I'm thinking um, step one is, is, is nearing completion if it's not complete yet. So, um, yeah. Yep. Definitely looking forward to having some, some raw dairy, though, because it's impossible to get. Um, it is uh, almost impossible to get around here. Um, there's one or two accept acceptable items I'll, I'll buy at, uh, um, at the local grocery store, but um, it is extremely hard to find good raw dairy. Um, and... Yeah, obviously this it's the, the the regulations regarding pasteurization are are, are, are the reason for, reason behind that. Um but uh yeah, and uh, I'll go ahead and mention yeah, welcome to uh, the Vani podcast. If we have any new people here uh, on Fascist Book, uh welcome to uh, to the podcast just giving some some home set updates and uh, some updates on Pasnia. Feel free to drop any live que uh, any questions or comments uh, in the live chat. So, um I guess uh so the the now that I've covered some positives, there's one negative I'll, I'll mention. Um, so I, I mentioned uh, the name Willie too. Well, Willie one uh, was uh, one of my one of my other goats. Um, well, <clears throat> I, I'm still trying to figure all this stuff out. Um, I, I've, I've this is yeah haven't done any of this stuff before. It's all brand new. Um, so I think I think I might have been overfeeding um, overfeeding Willie on grain. Um, I, I definitely think I might have been overfeeding a little bit. Um, and uh, I think I, I, it's possible, just looking at the symptoms, and it's not it's not completely uncommon. But um, if it's a grain heavy diet, like a grain ver grain versus heavy roughage, um, you know, like uh, diet wise, um, then they can develop a vitamin B one deficiency, and it looks really really bad. Um, it looks like a really bad like neuro neurodegenerative disease. Um, like I, the, the first thing I noticed was he could only he could only walk in circles to the left. Um, so. Like uh, yeah, and, and just over over the course of a couple of days, he just kind of he could kind of slowly um, deteriorated, and and I guess uh, it, it's also possible too that he could have just it could have just been, um, you know, one of the one of the bad ones and then the bunch, um, which is it's it's possible, um, definitely possible. It's uh, unfortunate, um, you know. Like I said, I, I've 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 put all this I've put just continue to put money into it. I'm not getting anything out of it, and, and animals are dying. And then the other negative thing I'll mention is that uh, yes, yeah, somehow um, my uh, my chickens got out of the they. they Found they I guess flew over the center over to the to the goat side the goat and lamb side and uh, exited uh, left the coop so I almost had a, I almost had a, you know like a dozen eggs a day and uh, within the course of two days a couple of days just like last year um, last year is over the course of a few days like they just kind of disappeared um, the strangest thing so I've got to figure out a different uh, different plan here and I've got a different plan um, I've, I've I've got a different plan there's uh, the the previous owner. Um, there's a, uh, I guess, a homemade homemade chicken coop out there, um, pretty good size, probably enough for for maybe you know a, a half dozen laying eggs and a half dozen meat birds, 
um, and I'll move that out here. And uh, since that one will stay closed 100% of the time, um, I'm, I, I prefer to free range them and, and do it that way. But I would also prefer to have something produ have have some production versus none versus just expending you know money and, and getting nothing. So um, I will. Uh, uh, so that's that's the plan for for the uh, for the chickens as far as the chicken coop. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's going to be for uh, for flightless birds. I think um, I'll leave the uh, the ducks in there and um add to the duck collection or i guess add to the uh, to the duck herd um and uh yeah basically just leave that for goats for the goats lambs and ducks so that's kind of the uh the, the plan there um let me uh take one more look here make sure we're still okay i think so Yep, yep. Um, so yeah, I mentioned that I was raising a land for Miriam. Well, uh, um, Jeremy, uh, Jeremy Hengeller, uh, one of my buddies, um, also um, is uh, is doing doing the same thing here. Um, so yeah, he's got two two lambs, a male and a female set, and uh, uh, Miriam has uh, uh, one male uh, one male for uh, uh, one male for uh, for meat. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and mention that um, this is I, I I don't have all of the details figured out for this. Uh, at this point, but I will mention uh, if there's uh, you know anyone uh, anyone uh, that I that I know um, that wants to that is uh, interested in you know raising an animal for meat, um, but doesn't have access to land uh, you know because you might you might be a nomad or, or whatever. Um, let's talk. Uh, I'm go I'm going to be uh, you know it's, it'll be very easy to double my pasture space out here, um, and I, I do plan on doing that. I just wanted to get you know something something there as a start, but uh, yeah, it's not going to take any anything at all. Um, to uh, to double the, the pasture space. So yeah, if you're a nomad or whatever, and you are, are looking, uh, you know, to uh, uh, looking f uh, to raise an animal for meat, um, yeah, I'd uh, certainly uh, love to chat and see if we could uh, see if uh, I could help uh, see if I could help you out. So um, I guess the the last thing I'll mention in regards to the homestead is uh, my one big project goal. All those all those uh, all those first ones, the the ducks, the chickens, um, you know, adding to the to the goats and the lambs. All that all that stuff is just short term. Um, not too difficult to, to, to accomplish. Um, but the, the one big project goal that, uh, I will be, uh, working on, <coughs> uh, John Smith doing an oil change and listening to Vonnie. Love it. Oh, right on, man. Right on. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, so yeah, the, those are all small projects, but this, uh, the, the big project, uh, that I want to do this year is, is yeah, within a year, uh, I want to tap into the well water on the property and to make the first off grid step. Um, should be able to do it for less than a thousand dollars. Uh, just need to need the, the big thing is I need to figure out how to make the transition work before and after I upgrade my house. Um, so I don't know when that's going to happen, but I want to, I want to go ahead and get, uh, you know, one, one big step, um, one big off grid step this year. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that is, uh, the, the, the big project. Um, <clears throat> So that's all I've got. So I think that's all I've got in regards to homestead updates. Um, yeah, I think so. I think that's all for 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 the moment. Uh, for the moment. So uh, I'll move on to Pasnia. Obviously, if you have uh, any questions for uh, questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the in the live chat. I'll address whatever uh, throughout uh, this throughout this uh, live stream. Uh, John, huge win for agricultural networking. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> um, okay. Uh, so I will move on to uh, to Pasnia here, and uh, as I said in the introduction, uh, you might have seen uh, some folks might have seen uh, the promo video. It was on uh, Fascist Tube and uh, Fascist Book, um, but I will go ahead and show that now, um, and then we'll talk more about uh, I guess my 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 vision for for Pasnia, uh, and uh, yeah, there's uh, <laughs> there's more to talk about, more to talk about. So here's the uh, promo video. At critical times throughout human history, it becomes necessary for one people, self-liberators, freedom seekers, etc., to officially dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another. For we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed with certain unalienable rights, and that among these are life, liberty, and property, property over one's body, and the fruits of one's labor. That to secure these rights, humans have foolishly instituted governments, resulting in the democide and enslavement of the many by the few. This is, of course, our present situation. 
But after a long train of abuses and usurpations, with the intention of reducing all individuals on the planet to lives under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty, to throw off such a government, or otherwise violators of person and property, and provide new guards for their future security. And in terms of government, prudence indeed will dictate that these monopolies on violence are too dangerous to exist. That the belief in such authority on a societal level leads to the disconnecting of individuals from all things human, most importantly, human freedom. Because some fates are worse than death, slavery. We therefore, as founding signatories of the Free Republic of Pasnia, declare that we are absolved from all allegiance to the communist fascist United States government, and that all political connection between the two is completely and totally dissolved. The founding principles of Pasnia are as follows, our, quote, constitution. A respect for and commitment to privacy. The use of pseudonyms is encouraged. Don't hurt people and honor your contracts. A culture that encourages humanity to flourish rather than degrade and regress. And lastly, a recognition of the important task ahead of us, to ensure the continuation of freedom into the future, another way for those seeking a way out. Signatures and more information will be forthcoming at Fall 2020. get me get myself unmuted here and transition back uh so uh yeah that is uh the idea for pasnia or i guess just uh, not even really the the idea for pasnia right just uh, uh just a promo video uh, but real quick back to uh, back to chat john asks, are you building a water tower f uh, filled by a windmill um no i don't think so <laughs> i don't think so just uh um just a well um and then uh, eventually um eventually i will do uh I, i'm 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 thinking it'll probably it'll probably be solar, um, solar for for off grid. Um, that'll be my my energy plan. Um, it'll, it'll possibly be my energy plan. But uh, yeah, keep uh, questions, comments coming, all that good stuff in the chat. Um, now, um, so the the idea for Pasnia, or I guess the the idea for a model country rather, is is the idea of the it's, it's what the strategy is called a model country. Um, just like a model train or a model car. Well, I have a model country now. Um, so that I got the idea from Erwin Strauss's uh, How to Start Your Own Country. Um, there are any chronicle of the many case studies uh, and examples through the early 20th century and before. Uh, the most common iterations uh, today would be uh, Lieberland and Sealand, so although the property claims uh, vary. Um, yeah, the property claims vary. So let me just read a little bit. I will get flipped back over to here for a screen share. Um, and I guess I will also mention that I, I am in correspondence with Erwin Strauss. Um, I uh, yeah, mail him a box of books, in fact. Um, and I also subscribe to his newsletter, The Connection. So any of you can be in correspondence with Erwin Strauss if you want to be. Um, yeah, you can just you, you can uh, sign up to uh, the, Con the Connection newsletter. Um, that's still going on um, after all these years. It's one that Rayo, Rayo actually contributed to back in uh, the 60s and possibly the 70s as well. So um, let me get the book open here. There we go. All right. So I will also mention that uh, on uh, Liberty Attack Radio, back when the Elio Publications was just a, a radio show or podcast, um, I actually did, did a, a book review episode on this, How to Start Your Own Country, a book review, LUA podcast, LUA podcast number 48, uh, August 20, 2017. So yeah, this was uh, a few years back. Uh, but yeah, you can find this podcast uh, here if you want uh, more information. Um on i guess uh how to start your own country and uh, uh the model country uh is only it's approach number five so there are four other ones i suppose it's worth a mention that one of the approaches erwin mentions is vanu uh approach number four vanu out of sight and mind uh so he has a, a very short chapter um basically probably a, a, a pro less probably less than a page with this picture included um so he, he at least mentions vanu and uh, it's it's a part of the discussion so i'm, I'm appreciative of, appreciative of that uh, but anyway, um, there's not much on the, on the approach number five model country, but there's a reason I'm going to read this. Um, so bear, bear with me. 
Uh, and uh, let me just read uh, just be a couple pages here. Quote, for some, all of the above approaches may be too drastic to be undertaken, at least right away. But there is an easy way to dip your toe in the new country into new, in, in the new country waters and help make your mind about uh, help make help up make your help make up your mind about what further steps you might want to take. Maybe find it a rewarding hobby to run it. Uh, many find it a rewarding hobby to run a model railroad or operate model airplanes. These model enterprises have all the trappings of the real thing in miniature. Similarly, it's possible to run a model country. You need only declare your home to be an independent nation and proceed from there. Uh, many people fear that taking this sort of action would bring down, the uh, bring, bring, uh, bring down the immediate wrath of the established government in their area. In most Western democracies, however, this is not likely to happen. One of the fundamental principles of survival for an established government or any bureaucratic organization is to do nothing unless it is necessary. For example, the British government didn't even didn't uh, didn't take even its limited action against Sealand until Prince Roy fired on a boatload of buoy repairmen, as described in the case histories chapter. Once that immediate fracas uh, subsided, no further action was taken beyond routine harassments. Many new countries have sent notices of their existence and requests for recognition to the United States government. There is an officer of the geographer of the United States at the State Department in Washington where such notices are filed. No action is taken on them one way or the other. And quote, I will probably not do that myself. Um... <laughs> so yeah, back to it. Quote, naturally, what can be accomplished using this approach is limited. No action can be taken that seriously inconveniences the established government. For example, you can't take pot shots at, at officials of the established, country, country, uh, the established country sends around or refuse to pay its taxes. Unless, of course, you are prepared to get into the litigation approach described above. What you can do is view the taxes paid to the established government as, as your new country's defense budget. Millions for defense, but not one cent for tribute. Makes a ringing slogan for a great power, but smaller nations routinely, make, uh, routinely must make accommodations with larger neighboring nations. The payments by such countries may take the form of a direct government to government transfer, or they take the form, uh, or they may take the form of bribes to officials in key positions. Thinking of taxes as bribes to corrupt officials can have a salutary effect in demystifying the whole process of levying and collecting taxes, revealing it for what it really is: the protection racket writ large. Other kinds of activities are also inadvisable by a model country, such as dealing in drugs or running gambling casinos, although some Indian tribes have gotten away with that on their reservations. But then, these tribes hardly qualify as new countries, being older than the United States. Their position and how they got it is similar to, to that of San Marino and SMOM from a previously fully sovereign status. Also impractical are things that require the active cooperation of the established government, such as getting them to accept mail that carries only your own, uh, only your own postage stamps. But within these limits, there is much that can be done. You can design and fly your own flag. Lawyers are notoriously soft touches. Um, lawyers are no notoriously soft touches for fan fancy-looking certificates to hang on their walls. So for a price, you can admit them to practice before the bar in your country. Doctors can be licensed to practice medicine. You can issue your own passports and stamp your own visas and entry and exit notices and other people's passports of whatever nationality. There's nothing in United States law against having an American passport stamped with such notices. To make it illegal, the United States State Department would have to explicitly add your country's name to, that, to the list of prescribed countries, Cuba, Vietnam, etc., and they aren't about to give you that kind of recognition. Of course, you should hang on to your own passport in the established country from which you are uh, seceding in case you travel uh, in case you travel to countries that might not recognize your new country's passport. Nevertheless, you might want to try presenting your new country passport when crossing a border. Border officials aren't always especially alert, and they might just, might just stamp it and pass you on. This, this makes a nice souvenir, and you can always present your established country passport if they don't accept the new country one. You can design and print your own stamps, or have them designed and printed. You can mint your own coins and print, them, uh, print your own money, or have them minted and printed, as long as you don't mass market them to an extent that threatens the legal tender status of the established country's currency. You can confer titles of nobility or honorific orders on your friends, or sell them to all comers. Speaking of sales to the public, stamps that are not accepted by the established countries have a limited market. However, coins, especially those of precious metals and jeweled metals, are much easier to market. The marketability of passports, patents of, uh, patents of nobility, diplomatic credentials, etc. is limited only by your own skills as a mail-order merchant. All this can be at least as much fun as running a model railroad. Um, so I will go ahead and, uh, and stop there. But, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, the idea of a model country, um, as presented by Erwin Strauss uh, in his book, How to Start Your Own Country. Um, <clears throat> take a, another look back here at chat. Nothing new. No problem. Um, let me get back to my, uh, my notes here. So, um, 
yeah, basically, uh, with Pasadena right now, um, where I'm at is uh, on the 4th of July. Uh, I really just wanted to introduce or announce the idea of, of Pasadena. Um, over the coming ideas, I'll be fleshing. I'll be, you know, fleshing this out a lot. Um, there's a, there's a, a lot of, yeah, there's, there's uh, the, the idea kind of, I kind of have is that it's going to be a digital second realm as well as a physical second realm. Um, so there's, there's a lot to, yeah, a lot to think about, a lot to consider. Um, but, but yeah, the idea here is I want it to be replicatable. And uh, I want to create a network of Pasnias. So the idea is, and I'll go, I'll uh, flip over to um, the website here, and uh, we can uh, <clears throat> talk about it. So um, I will go to the about Pasnia page. So for example, the country capital. So this is Veritas Pasnia. So you could have um, your own Pasnia. Right, like you could have, uh, um, I don't know, Freedom Pasnia, if that's what you want your country capital to be. Um, <laughs> so basically, pa about Pasnia, the Free Republic, uh, the Free Republic of Pasnia is nestled comfortably in the Second Realm, in what the state of survival society calls Illinois. Life is peaceful. Peaceful. We are uh, left alone and are looking to expand this, um, I guess, soon. So self-sufficient homestead into an alternative economy of sorts. Uh, vetting for visits is strict, and most will not be welcome. Unfortunately, this is due to the dangerous nature of the survival society. Uh, details are still being ironed out, but while you're waiting, learn more about Pasnia today so um so uh, the country motto the self-liberators paradise um and this is the obviously the flag um country capital veritas pasnia uh country bird dove symbolizing peace clearly uh the country animal possum the elimination of parasitism uh country tree olive country language fauna to speak and, and this is and a part of this, a part of my motivation for this is culture jamming. So, so that will that will become clear momentarily. Uh, country anthem, Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne, and there will be an explanation of that. Um, that wasn't just a, um, that wasn't, I guess you could say, a selection. There's a, there's a backstory to that um, that will come out at, at at some point. Um, it's a very big part of this country's history. So we will of course, um, of course make it known. <laughs> um, so, um. Independence from the USSA uh, declaration was July 4th, 2020. That was the release of the, the announcement video. Um, the Constitution, you know, quote, Constitution, uh, will be fall 2020. Um, and that will be taking place at... <laughs> at Vonifest, which is by invitation only. But anyway, um, the country currency, uh, yeah. So, so the constitution, that stuff will happen at uh, at Vani Fest, um, and there's still uh, there's still going to be some um, some some invites that go out. Um, uh, still a couple. I'm sure there's there's at least a couple few folks I've forgotten, um, and I'm I'm slowly slowly getting to folks. So anyway, um, country currency, individuals are free to choose for themselves. Um, driving side. None. We hate roads. So driving side, that was one of the, uh, if you go to like the United States is United States Wikipedia. Um, that's one of the things that lists is like a country features driving side. So obviously we hate roads. Um, attractions include, um, these are attractions that, that are, uh, you know, f are, that are included in Pasadena. Like here, or here's, here's what you could, what you could see. So the freedom observatory, uh, the committee for the decentralization of medicine, which is pending slash unofficial, uh, the Pasnia safe Pasnia committee of safety and correspondence also pending, uh, the church of self liberation, our nature sanctuary. Um, well, that's obviously here now. Um, that's, that's, that's already here. And one of the main attractions is our head of security, Naomi defense LLC. So, um, yeah, if you, uh, ever make it out to the homestead, um, you will be able to, uh, <laughs> to see all those things. And uh, let me see if there's any other uh, any anything else I, I want to mention here. Um, basically, <clears throat> um, let me see here. Yeah, I don't think there's I don't think there's really really much else. Uh, well, I guess I should I should explain the name, right? Um, so the name the name of Pasni. Obviously, we've talked a lot about uh, temporary autonomous zones and permanent autonomous zones in this podcast. So, um, so obviously, Paz Pazes. That's you know one I guess one aspect of it. Um, and then Paz uh, in Spanish means peace. So I feel like peace is a very good, um, as I put in, in this uh, uh, on the website, Paz in Spanish means peace, which is the fundamental life principle of Paznia. It's also the abbreviation for the freedom strategy of building permanent autonomous zones. Um, and I guess uh, there was all, someone asked about the, uh, the what's the Nia part mean? Well, it's just a, a country suffix. Uh, like there's, uh, there's, there's multiple. So if you look up country suffixes, I think it's the, 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 the term they use. Um, it's just a common like Tanzania, I guess, Lithuania, 
<clears throat> I don't know. I just wanted it's a, a, a cool sounding country name. So, um, yeah, as I said, like the, the idea is for this to be replicatable. Um, you know, I want uh, everyone to like, and, and obviously like I declare, like you, you guys heard the promo video, like this, you know, we declared our independence from the fascist communist um, totalitarian USSA. So like, we don't ask for permission around here. And I don't, I don't want you guys to ask for permission either. So like, I want you to, um, you got some land, you got a house, declare your house an independent country and of Pasnia because <clears throat> Pasnia is going to be digital or se- digital or physical. Pasnia is just the, you know, it's, it's, it's the, it's the, Pasnia is the free zone and you can come up with your own capital name. Um, and, uh, you know, we can get, uh, you know, a network of passes, passes going. Um, and there's a lot more to expand upon this. It's just kind of a rough, rough idea. Um, and I think, uh, I think it could be a, a very cool and, um, I don't know, like I like, like I was like I was mentioning uh, in terms of culture jamming. Um, I will have over the I guess over the course of the of the coming months there will be some promotional material. Um, but I was hoping to be one of the first Western countries to begin selling immunity passports. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Uh, the state's moving pretty quick on some things. Uh, I guess some of these Western countries are moving moving quicker than than the than the USSA at this point. But regardless, um, I, I was hoping to be one of the first countries to start issuing. Um, immunity passports immunity from what i don't know what do you need to be immune from um it's all nonsense bullshit anyway so um <laughs> so yeah uh what do you need to be immune from we can we can make it happen we can make it happen just obviously uh hashtag or i guess uh asterisk uh, you know no guarantees uh so yeah immunity passports um i guess uh, uh sell some some gold and silver coins might be a, a cool idea probably just silver coins gold might be might be a little expensive um but uh we've got got a lot of ideas a lot of really really cool ideas uh, in terms of culture jamming and um also uh in addition to culture jamming and and, and this i guess uh, possibility of of uh you know of i guess pre- presenting another possibility to people that they might not might not have thought of um yeah, in addition to that, there's uh, there's there's a possibility of, of, of helping to, re- to actually foster a really really positive, um, you know, underground slash agora, you know, like with with networks of permanent autonomous zones. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's uh, that about covers uh, that about, about about covers Pasnia. Let me see if there's uh, anything else uh, to mention to to cover here in chat. I don't think so. I do not think so. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's that's all I have. Uh, like I said, uh, it'll be uh, September, uh, I guess, sometime this fall, um, whenever uh, I'll get uh, the website updated with uh, with the, the information that a lot of you the, that a lot of you are really 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 uh, really looking for. Um, and then the other the yeah, the the other thing is I, I had one invitation already to come on to uh, someone's show to talk about Pasnia. I'm not ready for that at this point. Um, the fourth of July was just an announcement video, and there's a lot of things I need to be ironed out. Um, and I want to, uh, I want to, yeah, I've, I've got some, some, some more work to do on it before, before I get to that point. So, um, yeah, start, consider starting your own Pasnia. I will uh, drop a link to Erwin Strauss's How to Start Your Own Country, um, in, uh, the show notes of this episode as well on the, on the, uh, Volume Podcast website. And, uh, you can go, uh, learn more about that and, uh, hopefully, you know, declare your independence from, from this, uh, from this, this, uh, communist, uh, fascist totalitarian USSA government as well, or wherever you are. Um, if you're somewhere in the world, um, doesn't matter, uh, you know, exercise your freedom, don't ask for permission, um, and declare your independence. Um, yeah, start your own, start your own Pasnia. That's, uh, that's, uh, certainly the, the idea here. So, um, don't see anything else in chat. I will uh, go ahead and uh, close her out here. I'm totally fine with uh, with with how how the last few live streams have gone with them going on for like two and a half hours. Uh, I'm actually pretty okay with uh, you know a, a shorter live stream today. There's always uh, there's always another there's, there's always uh, possibilities for additional ones. Uh, so with that said, please make sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe on Fascist Tube and BitChute, um, as as well as LBRY if uh, you're on that pro- if you're on uh, that platform. Uh, also, please check out our newest release under LUI Publications, uh, Avanu Guide to Firearms by Josiah Warren. Uh, featuring some chapters by yours truly, I wrote uh, an introduction and uh, contributed to the uh, Avanu Survivalist uh, section at the end. Uh, it's a full-color magazine, uh, a full-color magazine-style book, uh, one that I would highly recommend snagging and uh, stuffing into your bug-out bag. Uh, the link to pick that up is libertyunderattack.com forward slash Vanu Gun Guide. Again, libertyunderattack.com forward slash Vanu Gun Guide. Uh, you can purchase on Amazon from uh, that link as well. 
And uh, I'll mention again, please bear with me on shipping. Uh, things have been pretty delayed as of late. Uh, if you're waiting on orders, you should be receiving some free books in the interim uh, in the next week or so. Um, I do apologize, but uh, I will uh, certainly accommodate and uh, try to, uh, to to make up for uh, for, for the delays. Uh yeah, I've got a few more episodes of the the building uh, the second round re-release here on TVP, which uh, I'll probably prioritize over the coming week. Uh, other than that, uh, don't really have anything else planned. As always, feel free to send in uh, your suggestions uh, or even, I guess, questions for uh, for a QA and a if you'd like to see that happen. Uh, anywhere on social media is great, so, or you can email me, shane at libertyandertech.com. I think that's all I have for you today. Uh, we will talk soon.